Whether you're going on your first date or you've been in a relationship for a long time, but you're looking for the ultimate accessory to up your game, I've got 15 fragrances to share with you today for that romantic, special occasion, seductive setting. That fragrance is definitely going to set you apart. So stick around. The top 15 romantic, seductive, date night, Valentine's Day fragrances are up right now. So in today's video, I got 15 fragrances to share with you from the entry level seductive romantic juices to the very expensive, you know, seductive romantic date night fragrances that will definitely set you apart. But here's the deal though, I split this up into three categories. We're going to have five entry level, a little bit more affordable, but still great juices. These, th these were very nicely curated for you guys. I've been, you know, rocking these fragrances for years now. These are tried and true, it will definitely give you that special edge on your date. Whether you go on your first date, if you've been in a long time relationship, doesn't matter. Any of these fragrances will definitely get you smelling delectable. Let's start off with the list here with the most affordable, you know, choices. These are going to be $80 or less, more or less. I'm going to have everything listed for you, as, of course, as always. The first choice is going to be Versace Eros Flame. Now, I've said this before many times. From the first time I reviewed this fragrance, I said this retains a little bit of that sweet tonk of vanilla that you get from the original, but it added spices and a gorgeous, you know, citrus note up top, which really sets this one apart from the original. Everybody loves the original Arrows, but I'm telling you, this is the better choice. And the name is very fitting here for the occasion, Valentine's Date Night Romantic Settings, Arrows Flame. Get your flame on, guys. Versace Arrows Flame, great choice. Listed below, you can get a big bottle like this for quite a nice price to get you smelling amazing. If you want something a little bit more dark, you know, a little bit different, um, instancy, dark vetiver, a little bit smoky, definitely spices, vanilla in the base. This one here, really great stuff. This is him from Zadik and Voltaire. I love this stuff, talked about this stuff over the years, but this one here, I guarantee you, you're gonna be probably the only person rocking this at the restaurant at your date. This is going to be a spicy, smoky, dark vanilla with incense, sandalwood, vetiver in the base, amazing stuff. Very affordable and very long lasting as well. It has that mysterious dark, incense vanilla and vetiver that I love. If you like dark, spicy scents, you're gonna love this next one. This is from the House of Moresque from the Secret Collection Sol Batique. I've been talking about this fragrance for two years now. This will set you apart. A little bit powdery, balsamic, very spicy, leather, tobacco. Sol Batique is a great combination of notes. The tobacco, the leather, the spices, the woody notes. But to me, this smells like if you took the original Mugler Amen, which was very potent, milky, balsamic, warm, spicy, intriguing, and you mix it up with Attitude Extreme from Armani, which is long gone discontinued, a leather and tobacco fragrance. That is pure magic, guys. Sol Batique, if you wanna be like the bad boy in your first date, you wanna get everybody twisting their heads and you know, who smells like this in this room, you know, you're gonna really commend attention with Sol Batique. Loving this stuff, and for the price you can get this, it's really a no-brainer. So it's second to last, Philip Klein's no limit. I love this stuff. This is dark chocolate, patchouli, spices. Um, very intriguing and mysterious fragrance. This smells like money. It's got this very niche, intriguing, and different kind of an attitude to this fragrance. That's what you're gonna get here, an attitude kind of a fragrance. That's definitely gonna set your apart. You're going to command attention if you're rocking this fragrance. You, you got my seal of approval. I'm telling you, if you're rocking this fragrance and you're wearing the right attire, you, 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 you dress the part, you're gonna commend attention with this fragrance, guys. That's all there is to it. This is an amazing, spicy, leather, fruity, woody, smoky, just an incredible fragrance. Very unique, it's gonna get you scratching your head like, what is this fragrance? Most predominant notes here are going to be the spices that you're gonna get right off the bat. You have this leathery, dark chocolate heart with the patchouli and other woods in the base. This stuff is fire. This is a sexy juice right here, and I've been sharing this fragrance with you guys for over seven years since the release of this fragrance way back in 2016. This is discontinued, but this is my choice because it's available right now and you can pick up a bottle for less than 100 bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Robert Graham's Fortitude. I spoke so much about this fragrance with you guys here over the years. I recently bought a backup bottle of this fragrance at a place that I'm about to share with you in this video. Uh, I had a bottle from 2016 that I used to wear, which was about halfway full. A friend of mine tried it, loved it. I said, you can have it, I have two more. So this is a fragrance that I'm telling you, as soon as you put your nose on this, this is love at first sniff for you and for those around you. Fortitude, boozy, tobacco, tonka, patchouli, just incredible. Spices, you know, there's nothing like this fragrance, guys. If you love the note of tobacco in a seductive manner, this will definitely get you going or get them going. Now, the second tier here are going to be fragrances that will be right around $100 or less, if not just about $100 flat or a little over $100, but not much more. It's going to be right around the $100 mark. 
We're gonna kick this list off with this one here that you can sometimes find it for a very affordable price, way less than 100, and it's going to be a classic in the fragrance industry. A lot of people love this fragrance. This was released in 2015. Uh, the original is incredible. Of course, the original has been toned down quite a bit over the years, but this one here is still good. This is Dolce & Cabana, the one eau de parfum. This is a very seductive, sweet, embery take on tobacco. Uh, it's not gonna be harsh or hard to wear because you know a lot of tobacco notes, depending on what notes they're laced with or uh, surrounded by, it could be quite you know hard to wear. This is a very seductive juice, I'm telling you. Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum is one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection. So this is one that will definitely get you going. People will love it. This is universal appealing, probably from everything I'm sharing here with you, the easiest one to wear for compliments, for seduction, for date, romantic. If you're listening to this and you're going on a first date, this is a safe pick, guys. Of course, you can go clean if you want. You can go Dior Sauvage, Bleu de Chanel, the usual suspects, but you don't want to smell like her ex or like somebody else. So this one here, you don't have much of a risk because I don't think many people are wearing this today because it was released in 2015, but still a great scent to rock today. Nowadays in 2024, pick this up, success guaranteed. Speaking of success rate guaranteed, the next one I'm about to share with you will definitely guarantee you success of smelling great and definitely seductive and appealing. This is going to be from the house of Guerlain. This is L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. This is my favorite. There are a ton of different uh, variations of Ideals. But this to me is the best one. This is going to be almond, cherries, vanilla. It smells literally like a cherry liqueur. This is delectable. You're gonna rock this, you're gonna smell amazing. Very seductive, very romantic, very cozy, very warm, cocooning. She's gonna wanna give you a hug the moment she smells you. I'm telling you, or he, whatever you're into. But I'm telling you, Lomi Del Eau de Parfum will definitely get the job done if you do love almonds, cherries, that marzipan feel. This is going to be leaning more toward the gourmand side of things, but definitely very seductive juice right here. This next one is technically very gentlemanly scent, but it's like a fougere with a lavender vanilla combination. It's done in a very gentlemanly like, very seductive and well put together, made to measure kind of a feel. This is going to be from Histoire de Parfum, which is a brand that you don't hear much about nowadays. This is going to be 1725 or known as Casanova. If this is called Casanova, ladies and gentlemen, this is one seductive juice. This is a heck of a fragrance. Like I said, many are not talking about this anymore. I might actually wear this tonight. Love this stuff, guys. It's this powdery uh, vanilla and lavender combo, which is reminiscent of Fougere's, but it has other components here that will give this luminous quality to this fragrance. It's gonna be very you know, demanding of attention. I also get a little bit of a tobacco, like a blonde tobacco feel, much like the tobacco that I get with Dolce & Cabana uh, Pour Homme, which is behind me here, uh, the original Dolce & Cabana Pour Homme from back in the day. It has an effect on me with the lavender and the blonde tobacco that's contained here. This is an amazing fragrance, guys. Don't sleep on this one. It's one of my hidden gems. If you wanna smell like James Bond or a great Casanova, this will deliver. Second to last for this category will be Gentleman Reserve Privé. You guys heard me talk about this fragrance many, many times. This was my favorite release a couple years ago in 2022 now. This was the best release for that year. This is going to be whiskey, patchouli, cocoa, spices, vetiver. It is a fantastic woody spicy fragrance that lasts and it smells incredible. This goes in and out of stock all the time. The time I'm shooting this, it's still available. I'm gonna have a link below. Enjoy, I'm telling you, this is absolutely insanity. If you wanna smell incredible for your date, this is a great choice. If you want something a little bit more made to measure, more gentlemanly, more mature, if you will, but still playful, Pasha de Cartier Parfum. This is going to be a phenomenal, boozy whiskey with lavender. This is a little bit more mature. It's boring more elements from that Fougere that I talked about in 1725, but more mature even. The lavender with the green components, perhaps there's oak moss and vetiver in the base here, making this a little bit woodier, a little bit greener, but that whiskey, with the uh, creamy patchouli and sandalwood will make this playful and will get you smelling amazing. This is a commanding fragrance for those that perhaps want to uh, be perceived in a more mature, well put together or serious manner, if you will. But this one will definitely get the girl, trust me. Before I reveal my five top choices for where money is no limits, money's no problem, if you have enough to buy whatever you want, these next five fragrances I'm about to share with you are definitely gonna be your secret weapon for those special, romantic, seductive date night occasions. But before I talk about them, I wanna share with you a site that I discovered over the last couple of months that I'm really digging, which is called Frag Flax. If you guys wanna find incredible fragrances such as all the fragrances I'm talking about here in this video today, 
and of course anything you're looking for if you don't want a romantic juice maybe you want something that's more versatile you want a you know um, heavily sought after fragrance that everyone's rocking what's trending no worries you can use my code mf10 for 10 percent off site wide so i talked to frank flax and i said listen i want to do something special for the viewers of this channel what can we give back to my viewers so of course you have the mf10 which will give you guys 10 percent off ongoing site-wide at Frag Flex, but we have one better for you for the month of Valentine's. The time you're watching this video today, you have a code that will give you 25% off BOGO. So buy one, get one 25% off, no limits. You can buy as many fragrances as you want at Frag Flex and you're going to get 25% off BOGO. Buy one, get one 25% off. Buy two, same applies. Buy 10, buy 50, you name it. That code is good to as many fragrances as you want. But the caveat here is this code ends in 48 hours. So the time you're watching this video, all the way until Saturday at midnight, the code will be gone. Then you're gonna be left off with the MF10 for only 10% off site-wide. Guys, enjoy. I'm gonna have everything listed below. Of course, go check out fragflax.com. Let me know your thoughts on that website. If they're missing anything, if there's anything you wanna see more on that website, please let me know. In the meantime, enjoy the codes and don't snooze because they're gonna be gone before you know it. So. Kicking back here on the list of five favorite choices that I would go with if money was no limits, I had you know, 200 to $300 to spend, these would be my fragrances. These would be the ones I would actually rock this Valentine's Day or Romantics if I'm going to like a, a date setting, uh, if I'm looking to start dating someone, I would pick any of these five here. Any of the 15 will be great, of course. It just depends on how much money you're looking to spend. Uh, the top choice here for the, for the last five will be Dior Homme Parfum at the fifth position here at this last cluster of fragrances. Now Dior Parfum is one that perhaps you haven't heard of, but I'm sure you have. This is going to be very similar to Dior Homme Intense, which is that gorgeous cocoa uh, patchouli slash iris note. But this one here added heavier, darker notes of oud. There's a little bit of a hint of an oud here, rose, uh, more spices. So this is a darker take on Dior Homme Intense. Love the stuff, long lasting. As you can see here, my bottle is one of the newer formulations, which is still great. From all the reforms from Dior Homme, Dior Homme Intense, Dior Homme Parfum is the one that suffered the least amount of reformulations when it comes to the uh, composition itself and the performance. Love the stuff at the fifth spot here. Definitely need to check this out. It was released originally in 2014. It's still around today, and it's one of the best, most seductive juices out there. The next fragrance here is going to be a fantastic fragrance, very expensive, but I think it's worth the bucks. I've had this for, I think, going on two years now. And as you can see, I wore a lot of this fragrance. This is Baby Cat from Yves Saint Laurent from their uh, private collection. This is basically a vanilla and leather composition, but done to perfection. This is amazing. If you're looking for a fragrance, like I said, magnetic cap, I mean, presentation second to none. This is their private blend. This is nothing short of spectacular. You've got the vanilla, you've got some spices here. It's creamy. I believe there's sandalwood here. Um, there's this um, almost liqueur, resinous, leathery kind of an opening that it's just going to grab you with hello. Resins, pepper, leather, and vanilla are the most, you know, talked about notes in this fragrance, but they are done in a way that it's just pure seduction. So wear this one with caution. The next fragrance, I'm sure you guys heard about it. This is to the fragrance world when it comes to, let's say, Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a very known fragrance and very worn out there. People love it. I'm telling you, this is a perfect seductive oud composition. I wanted to give you guys something with oud, but I wanted to make sure it was an elixir of seduction. And this one here is definitely going to do the, the job. This is going to be MFK's Oud Satin Mood. You want to set the mood, guys? This will set them on fire. It's that simple. This is going to be rose, oud, vanilla, resins, but done in a way that is just perfection. It's done so nicely that when you smell this, what's going to come to mind, what's going to trigger your brain is, I want to drink this. This smells like a drink. It smells that good. I mean, it's, it's mouth-watering good. You're going to smell just they're going to want to eat you up. It's that simple. If you want a, if you like oud, you want to go with an oud base scent for Valentine's Romantic. It's definitely oud in of itself. The note of oud is very, you know, stand out. It's very, you know, edgy. So this one here blended to perfection, but very creamy, very smooth. Bottom line is if you want an oud base scent for that romantic setting, seductive, sexy, oud satin mood is definitely the way to go. Now, I wanted to include a Tom Ford fragrance here on this seductive, romantic, sexy list because, just because, you know, Tom Ford over the years have always delivered with incredible fragrances creatively, uh, the way they perform, the way they smell. Granted, over the last couple of years, it's been a little bit hit or miss, but this is from the original 2007 Private Plant. This is definitely in my favorite top 10 Tom Fords of all time. This is going to be 
just an incredible elixir of seduction. And this is something that I'm happy to have revisited and share with you guys today. It is available, it's going to be linked below. Don't walk, run. If you're looking for a great blast from the past, this is it right here, guys. Noir de Noir. I mean, we talk about Noir Extreme, we talk about a lot of Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Granted, they're great fragrances, but I'm telling you, if you want seduction, oh, this is so good. Noir de Noir is definitely the way to go. In fact, I might wear this, um, you know, with my wife this Valentine's Day because once I start wearing this again, it just, you know, brought me back memories. And this is one heck of a seductive juice, guys. We're talking dark truffles. We're talking rose, a little bit of an oud to make things mysterious and dark. Oak moss. The combination of notes here are just so seductive. You just can't get enough. It's that simple, guys. If you're new out there and you just get into the fragrance world, perhaps you haven't heard of this one. I'm telling you, this is an incredible fragrance. And for those of you that perhaps haven't talked about this fragrance in a long time or haven't, you know, tried it again, do revisit this fragrance because this is nothing short of masterpiece period now this one here is definitely one that i probably be rocking it's going to be either noir de noir or this one i've talked about this fragrance a couple of times here on the channel this is one of my favorite finds of last year and the brand itself is amazing the fragrance is incredible this is going to be sun from the house of nishand turkey now this is what i get out of this fragrance ladies and gentlemen is oh i get a spicy incensey resinous floral so there's like a rose slash beeswax honey kind of a vibe amber musk vanillas this perhaps i said this before i'll say it again it reminds me of sahara noir from tom ford that was discontinued but this goes into a different direction this is more balsamic a little bit more ambery the spices will be here the floral notes the resins so I'd say this is a more quote unquote wearable version of Sahara Noir. A lot of people thought that fragrance was a little bit you know, ahead of its time, too dark, too smoky, too spicy. Hence the fact that it was discontinued. This one here captures the essence of Sahara Noir in a more wearable, friendly manner. Love the color. The bottle is red, like Valentine's, like fire. It's hot. I'm telling you, sun is the way to go. If you haven't tried this fragrance, I'm telling you, you're going to come back here and thank me. And the people that will smell this on you will thank you for rocking this fragrance, guys. Sun from Nishen, trust me, incredible. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out. Go try it. Everything will be listed below. Enjoy my code. Don't miss out. Valentine's right around the corner. Wanted to put this video out on the first of the month to give you guys a couple weeks to smell great this Valentine. As always, thank you so much for your support. If you do enjoy the channel, leave a like, subscribe for more. Hit the bell so you guys are notified when these videos go up. I do at least once a week for you guys. I put a new content with things that will definitely set you guys apart. Everything listed below, keeping you guys in the know from a fragrance lover to another. I'll see you guys again right here in the next one. Take care.